cloud has brought the ability for us to communicate better, faster, and more efficiently. Our rate of progress is only going to increase when everything is connected. Most often communications today are hub and spoke systems like you see in the cellular phone networks, but the future lies in the world of mesh. The mesh network is where any node or any asset in a communications infrastructure communicates on behalf of itself and on behalf of others, propagating data from point A to point C. Mesh networks is really describing the fact that it can change shape through time. People can be added on to that network and subtracted from that network in a seamless way. Quantum computing is a different way of doing things. The fact that they're phenomenally fast allows them to look at millions of problems as opposed to one or two problems. Being able to compute not only forwards but backwards. As quantum computing takes off more, we're starting to understand big data algorithmic interactions. Those are providing insights and new patterns and things that we did not see before. As soon as we begin to adapt and think in that terms, will explode in terms of the utilization and, and leverage of it. Big data might help us understand where will the rains be, where will, won't the rains be. Can we that be preemptive and say, ah, there's going to be less rain over here. We may want to optimize our plantings in a different sector from another sector or change our crop patterns. So one of the topics that comes up often is the Internet of Things. And the Internet of Things is different than the regular Internet in that it invokes not just human beings communicating with each other, but also machines and sensors and other devices communicating with similar sensors and the like. This idea of pervasive sensing, that's something that's very near term, that's on the horizon, where there's sensing from everything. And we can access that information anytime we want. Doctors will be able to plug in with us and monitor our vital statistics on a real-time basis, the value is in this correlation across many domains and how one influences the other. Wherever you go, you can get data now, and that data is worldwide. In the year 2000, there was about 800,000 petabytes of data. Now we are supposedly exposed to five exabytes of data every two days. The managing of this data is certainly one of the challenges. And so this is the tension that we face, that the increasing prevalence of data both offers us fascinating uh, capabilities and services that really enrich our lives, but equally they, they pose risks to privacy, to inaccuracy if the wrong data becomes globally available instantly. And that will be where I think where Lockheed Martin can supply some of its greatest assets in information processing and technology to solve that problem.